So tell us a bit about your movie. What made, what inspired you to write it? So I made this kind of murder mystery kind of themed film because I just kind of was into kind of spooky stuff. I was inspired by all different kinds of like horror themed movies. did you use round about a crossing? I used places such as the beach for the place where the murder took place, this office right here where I did the interviews and a little bit down the street with a little alleyway where I had this chase scene with the murderer who was in. And how did you find the process of writing and then taking it from your own writing and putting it into film, was it easy or hard? Was it, it wasn't good? exactly easy, but it wasn't exactly hard either. Mm -hmm. It took a while to write the scripts and think of the story, how were things going to add up in the end. And how's the editing process been? The editing process has been more or less just me looking over the clips, seeing okay, so will this work here or will it not work? So it was mostly just me looking over it, trying to edit it, trying to make sure everything was in good timing, had good transitions, just making sure that everything just ran smoothly. Um, let's do detective person. Okay. And how have you found the weekly capital? It's been fun um, filming and going to all these places, um, having, a, having some laughs at some places. Mm -hmm. And would you like to... Um, would you like to um, tell everybody the name of your film and introduce yourself? Um, my film is called Murder on Bangui Beach and hopefully whoever's watching it will enjoy it.
Anyone else involved or hear anything or see anything suspicious? Okay. You four, come to my office. I'm gonna solve this case. This is the beach where the murder recently happened. We will not be showing the murder um, scene on camera as it may be disturbing to some viewers. There are witnesses at the office being interviewed right now. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, back to Bell at the office. So then, you know something. Tell me, what is it that you know? Well, I was getting the train last night um, and I heard distant screams and at first I didn't know what was happening so I peered around the corner and but my curiosity got the best of me and when I was there, to my horror, I saw this man standing over a body and, and, and I saw what looked like a knife and, and I screamed and my train came and I ran into the train, right? And the train doors like slammed together but, and he was coming after me and, 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 and I was scared like half to death. Hmm, I could probably work with this. Well, I hope it helped. It certainly did. Thank you for your time. Would you mind helping out? I think you could be a really useful asset. I don't mind. I'm sure my family won't mind a day off either. Okay then, suspect number two. Where were you at the time of the murder last night? Uh, I, I was at the play park. Uh, up on the hill, I, w I swear, I was just hanging out with some friends, I heard a ghastly scream, I called for help, my friends left me, I was paralysed in fear, looked over at the beach, I saw a man running after someone with a knife. Could that be me? I don't know, I was too scared to process anything, all I saw was the blood from his hands, they ran down the street away from him. I see, I see, I think it's adding up now. So then, what happened with you last night? Well, I was getting ready to go to bed when I heard a scream and I think it was from the beach. You know, me being me, I looked outside my window and I saw a man walking down the street. He was wearing a black hoodie. Yes. Had blood in his hands. Mm-hmm. And he had a knife. Hmm. Could it be? Who? The last person reported on the scene. You! You were the last person seen the scene. Tell me, what did you see? What did I see? What did I see? I saw a liar, a traitor, backing out of the tail. And you know what she done? Die. Want to know what I done? Same thing with you. Thank <laughs> you.